Welcome guys, it's happy to have you on board and if it's your first time, consider subscribing. There is great content on the way and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss anything. Before starting this video, I assume you have already seen my previous video entitled AWS and Introduction where I talk about what is cloud, what is Amazon Web Services and how costing on AWS works. In order to follow along this video, having a basic understanding of what AWS is, is very important. You can find a link to this video in the description below. The video will act as a quick refresher if you already have some basic understanding of AWS or it will act as a guide if you are new to AWS. So please do check out the previous video. You'll need an account with AWS before we can do anything with it. So. Now we'll walk through the process of signing up for an AWS account. Don't worry, signing up with AWS is free. Here's the home page of AWS at aws.amazon.com. You can find the link in the description below. You are already probably familiar with amazon.com, the shopping website. The company just runs AWS, so it's a different part of the same company. To use AWS, you need both an Amazon account and an AWS account. Funny right? But you might be wondering, what is the difference between both of them? Well, you use an Amazon account to shop at Amazon.com and you use an AWS account to manage AWS services like S3 and EC2. They are entirely different accounts that are used for entirely different purposes. Except for one thing, your Amazon account and your AWS account share the same login information. The email and password you use for one will be the same email and password you will use for the other. Even though there are two different accounts, you only need to remember one password. That means even if you already have an Amazon account for shopping online, you still need to create a new AWS account for using AWS. So let's do that first. I'm gonna start by clicking on the button Mark, create a free account in the top right corner of the page. The AWS website changes now and then. So by the time you watch this video, it might look a bit different from what you see here. But it should still be pretty easy to find the button to create the account. Alright, here is the sign in page. To make an AWS account, you already need to have an Amazon account. So, that's why AWS asking you to sign in. Remember that your Amazon account and your AWS account will use the same email and password, which makes it easier to keep a track of. If you don't already have an Amazon account, you'll need to create one like this. You just put in your name and the email address and pick out a password for your Remember, if you already have an Amazon account, you don't need to create a new one like I am doing. You can just log in. Once you have created a new Amazon account or logged into your existing Amazon account, you'll start the process of making your AWS account. This process has five steps. The contact information, the payment information, identity verification, support plan and confirmation. We are on the first step. Contact information. First, it indicates whether this is a company account or a personal account. If you're not sure, click on personal account. Then put in your name, address and the phone number. Be sure to use a real name and a real phone number since AWS will be checking that in the latest time. You also have to do one of those very annoying security check to get past this page. If you get a picture that you can't read, Click on the reload button to get a different one. Type the letters you see and check the box to say that you agree to AWS customer agreement. Then click on the create account and continue button. And we move on to step 2. At this point you need to put in a credit card or a debit card so that AWS can charge you if you are doing anything that costs money. Fortunately, there is no way to skip this step. Even if you're planning to do AWS on a free tire, AWS still requires you to have a payment card set up. And for reference, don't bother trying to put a fake credit card. 
to finish all five steps and create your AWS account, AWS will test your credit card to see if it and if it doesn't, they will immediately shut down your account. So grab a credit card or debit card and enter the information. For billing address, you can either select the address you just typed in or you can put in a new address. The third step is identity verification. For this step, AWS will call your phone number and ask you to type in the PIN number into your phone. This is to verify that you are a real person with a real working phone. It's pretty cool process. First, you'll need to type in the character for the security check and double check that you typed in your phone currently. Then click the call me now button. Alright, there's the pen we need. Now we just wait a few seconds. Hello, this is an automated call from Amazon Web Services. This is an automated call from Amazon Web Services. So if you have any ideas of flirting, don't try it. Using the touchpad on your phone, please enter the four digit pin number that was displayed on your screen. You may also say your pin one digit at a time. When they tell me to, I'll type in the pin. We have successfully verified your pin. Please return to Amazon Web Services to complete your registration. Thank you for your interest in Amazon Web Services. Goodbye. As soon as I typed the number into my phone, the website detected it and told me that the verification was successful. Well, this is actually a pretty cool process if you ask me. On to the next step then. The fourth step is just picking up a support plan. This one is easy. Since you're just getting started, choose the basic option which is free. Everything else costs money and you don't need a support plan right now. Scroll down to the bottom and click on the continue button and you're all set. The fifth step is optional. Come in. You can scroll down to the confirmation page and tell Amazon what you plan to use AWS for so that they can recommend things for you but you'll probably want to click on the button that says sign in to your console to explore AWS yourself. This is the AWS management console. It's where you get started with all the powers that AWS provides. I just made this video because signing up into AWS was a bit different and I assumed that most of you will find it useful for me to make a video about how you would sign up into AWS. Even then, the signing up procedure is actually a cool pro. I hope you followed along the video and didn't have any confusion or any errors in this process. If you still have any doubts, you could always leave a comment or join the discussion at Slack. Looking back, we have come a long way. We have successfully set up an AWS. In the next video, we'll actually start using the AWS S3 service and I'll teach you the ins and out you need to understand the S3. Thanks for following along this video guys. You could always show your support by liking, sharing or subscribing or by heading over to patreon.com forward slash team code big. If you still have any doubts, you could always ask us out on Quora or on our team code big subreddit. Keep supporting us, keep coding big and see you in the next video guys.